So guys, probably you were wondering if only sensible heat and latent heat are the only enthalpies or heat effects that we have in processes. And the actual truth is that no, we actually have a lot of processes that have their special heat or their special effect on enthalpy and so on. Uh, some are, let's say, derived from, let's say, sensible heat or so on. But the important thing here, guys, is that the most important ones that we will be using with, it's going to be sensible heat, which is dependent on change in temperature, and latent heat, which is dependent on phase change. We will have also heat of solution, which is essentially when we mix a stuff, let's say one solute and then one solvent, and they either release heat or they absorb heat. Also, we're going to be talking about heat of combustion, how much enthalpy is freed when we burn some material, some fuels, how much heat, energy, or change on enthalpy are we going to experience. Also, heat of reaction is a very interesting one. It's also when you're starting reactions, you know that there are endothermic, exothermic reactions. And, well, that how do you measure that? Of course, with heat. Or, because we're working with uh, constant pressure, we're talking about also change on enthalpies. And this one is pretty interesting one. Actually, it's very useful. Not that much as a theoretical value, but when you are doing energy balances, which are... Not in this scope right now, but I'm going to explain you anyways, guys. So if you're interested in knowing a little bit more on this heat of solution, heat of combustion, reaction, and formation, please keep on. If you think you're not going to need them, you can jump directly to the next uh, videos. And you are technically done, guys. This is the last part on this block. <laughs> What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.